Jellyfish. Oh man. So pretty, but also really dangerous. Oh man. Good thing this jellyfish won't sting you. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a plastic jellyfish inside a water bottle. This is a fun project that you can make using materials that you could have lying around in your house, and it is surprisingly entertaining for something so simple. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include scissors, blue food coloring, some string or thread, a small clear plastic bag, sharpie markers, as an optional item, some mini toy fish, water, and a clear plastic bottle. To start this project, take your plastic bag and cut a piece that's roughly six by six inches. As an optional step, use sharpie markers to add color to your jellyfish. Start off by drawing a circle and then using other colors, draw a ring around your circle and some lines coming from the ring. It's gonna look kind of like a sea urchin or a star, but this will add color to your jellyfish. Before we fill our plastic bottle with water, we're going to fill up our jellyfish head with water so that'll be easier to actually put inside our water bottle. Take about six inches of your stringer thread, cut it off, and then set it aside. To fill your jellyfish, take your design and place it right on top of a cup. Carefully, on top of your design, pour a small amount of water so that you can create the head of your jellyfish. This next part is a little tricky since you're going to lift your plastic bag, slowly twist it, and keep the water inside the head of your jellyfish so that it doesn't escape. Take your string and then tie it around the head. After you've tied the head of your jellyfish, you're going to start trimming the rest of the plastic bag so that you have your tentacles. While you're doing this, some water might escape. Don't worry too much about the water leaking out since it's gonna go inside your water bottle. When you're cutting the tentacles from your jellyfish, you're actually gonna remove a lot of the plastic. You wanna cut it so that you have tentacles that are about an eighth to a quarter inch thick so that when they move around in the water, they actually look like jellyfish tentacles. You also wanna have probably at most 10 to 12 tentacles, just so that they don't get tangled inside your water bottle. After you've created your jellyfish, it's actually gonna look a little weird, but don't worry too much because it's gonna look completely different once you put it inside your water bottle. To prep your water bottle, fill it up about halfway with water and add about five drops of blue food coloring or less, depending on how much color you actually want to have in your water bottle. Gently take your jellyfish and slip it inside your water bottle and then fill the rest of it up with water. For this project you want to carefully fill it up to the brim so that there are no air bubbles trapped inside your water bottle. As an optional step you can add some small plastic sea creatures to swim with your jellyfish. I'm gonna add this little clownfish so that this could look like the scene from Finding Nemo. After you've filled up your water bottle with as much water as you can, go ahead and cap it off. I like using these clear non-ringed water bottles just because you get to see everything that's going on inside your little jellyfish jar. Uh, the reason I put the Finding Nemo clownfish inside is so that you could turn this into a fun little game by flipping it back and forth and trying to see if you could land the uh, clownfish right on top of the jellyfish. If you don't have a little plastic toy, it's fine. You could just have your jellyfish inside and just keep bouncing it back and forth because it's actually surprisingly really fun. Even for me, I've spent a good amount of time just flipping it back and forth to see the jellyfish just move around in the water. I'm gonna put this down before I get too distracted. Um, if you guys make this video, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And check out our last two videos, the Baymax Oreo Pops and our Lord, not Lord of the Rings, uh, Game of Thrones Dragon Eggs. Uh, other th piece of information, I'm seriously distracted by this, we're going to announce the winner of the Finn Leaf Sword, and it goes to 
frozen heart. Uh, I asked you guys what a hero meant to you and I got a lot of really great responses. And it, I just, I really couldn't decide so I just chose randomly. Frozen Heart, make sure you check your uh, YouTube inbox so that you can claim your prize and I can mail this out to you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this project. See you guys next time and take care.